Oh. <laughs> I'm sold. Guys, I got invited to a secret Samsung event. We got to see some new cool things. Watch Ultra, Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, Galaxy Buds 3, the Flip 6, but screw all that. I was there for the Fold 6. Now, I haven't had hype for a phone ever since the iPhone 10. The second I saw the Fold 6 and held it in my hands, I knew my SIM card was getting out of this iPhone and going straight into that Fold. Surprisingly, my wife actually had more fun at the event than I did. I really liked the unique boxy design of the S24 Ultra, but sold it because it was too wide. Holy smokes! Can you see that? The Fold 6 has the same boxy design, yet a much thinner body. This Fold 6 was pretty much the same width as the 13 mini, but it opens up to an iPad mini. Bruh! Can I put it in my pocket with it? You can! <laughs> you can! You can! It's so thin. If it, dude! You can! I mean, you're gonna break like a, it. I look like I got a freaking book in my pocket. That's a tablet in your pocket right now. And then you just. Can you pick up the phone like this? No, it, it, it turned on speaker. All right, let's talk about the incremental improvements that Samsung has been making to the Fold lineup. Starting with introducing the S Pen and water resistance to the Fold 3. And then Fold 5, they got rid of the gap. And then with Fold 6, now they have dust resistance, which is pretty cool. And every year they've been making it slightly thinner and slightly lighter. And now it's only a six gram difference with the S24 Ultra. Bruh, that's crazy. Yeah, let's go bring my wife and talk about some AI stuff. Let's talk about the first impressions of what you thought. I mm -hmm. love the Fold. What about the Fold? It's a time when he drew this cup, a random cup on this picture, and he pressed this one button, and it turned into a real cup. Hold it. Oh! And I have options. Oh. <gasps> different cup. This one's got a shadow. It looks a bit more realistic. That one. That I was think incredible. I, I think I met this stand like, whoa, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was incredible. Sorry, I don't know the jargon. I don't know the names for this. Go watch Tech with Benefits if you want to know all the jargon. I don't know the jargon. I'm going to name it myself. It's called AI Draw on Photo feature, okay? So you basically have a photo, you get your S Pen, you draw whatever you want, and it kind of understands, oh, because there's like a flower here and it's on a table, I assume he wants a nice cup. Mm. Right? And it's a photorealistic cup as well. Yeah. Yeah. There was a time where someone drew like steam on top of the cup and it filled it up with coffee. That's crazy. That's actually useful. Mm. So wife took a selfie and what did you draw? You drew a crown. Yeah. On your head. Going to life. <gasps> <laughs> I'm sold. I want this now. <laughs> wow. Dude, that did you see that? Oh wait, you, you work here. You, you see Ooh. that. Come on. That's cool. Show her the original. How come it looks real? My expectation was like going up, 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 up. And when the cup mm -hmm. came out, I'm like, oh, maybe yeah. it's time to say goodbye to my iPad. So I wanted to also talk about the native uh, art feature. Sorry, mm. I don't know what this is called again. I'm going to call it the AI art drawing app. Okay. It's built into the fold. So that basically there are two options. One, you can draw on an image, which is already there, or you take photos. Mm -hmm. The other one is you're creating a, like, a new image. Yeah. And you've got three options. You can change that into a 3D anim animation. Mm, the illustration and... Cartoon. Cartoon. The cool thing is if you actually know how to draw, you can actually make crazy oh, yeah. stuff. So my wife drew, I mean, obviously I'll put this in the thing, but she drew this thing. And it's not this thing, it's Mia. Oh, it's Mia. And then it just, you know, gave us, dude, that is, that is absolutely wild. I sketch for my thumbnail artist. And so next time I'm going to use the Fold 6 and I'm going to do the same thing. He's going to be like, oh man, I'm going to get fired soon. <laughs> you know, this guy up the game. <laughs> Talk about the selfie, changing yourself into like a 3D character. Took a selfie. And I press one button, and the character looks like me. Yeah. Oh, that, oh come on, that's you, like that's me. you right there. <laughs> and you did it to yourself as well. I did it to myself. And it was just him. 
I look like a little dirty Asian man. <laughs> a lot of times, like Joy asks me to draw stuff. Daddy, can you draw me a koala? Oh yes, honey. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I drew that. Yeah? And she'd be like, why is the koala bear a different color? I'd be like, well, this is a koala, this is what koalas look like in Queensland. <laughs> she won't know. But I can't wait because now I'm gonna blow her mind. No, that's not what I wanted. No, no. Last thing, translation. Oh yeah. What was that like? It needs more work. Where am I? Does it show? You are at a very secret Samsung event. <laughs> When you translate Korean to English, I think it's better. I think it's very useful, especially for our parents. But can you imagine, like, you know, you're in a foreign country and you need to chuck a crap. Oh, no, no, English. No English. No. 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 <laughs> I need to chuck a shit real bad. It's all good. I already shut my pants. <laughs> Unless you're in that kind of situation, you should be okay with the translation app. Guys, this video is not sponsored, but I wanted to let you guys know about the mission that our family and this YouTube channel is on. We save up and once a year we fly out to a country or a community in need and we use our tech skills to produce documentaries and photography and stuff like that to raise awareness for charities and NGOs. Last year we had the privilege to go to Southeast Asia and we produced a documentary to help keep the schools open in the slums. And this year we plan to go to Mongolia. To support us, head over to the Ko-fi page, I'll link below the like button. And also if you download our icon packs, that will also support the channel and the mission. Thanks guys. Let's start with how it looks and feels. I remember going up to Daniel from Tech With Benefits and I whispered in his ear, bro, I think this is peak fold design. Like, it just looked mad. And then when you hold it, it feels incredible. It's the first time I felt like an Android phone felt better built than an iPhone. It's almost as if like the Korean boys and girls over at Samsung worked day and night, just focusing on how it feels and just refining the shat out of it to have a mad first impression. The opening and closing of the fold is vastly improved. Doing an opening test. No, it doesn't feel the same. Oh yeah, this is so much better. Just, mm. Yes. Now I just want to talk about the candy bar front screen design. Every single little boy on X and YouTube is complaining about it. Make it thicker! Make it wider, it's too thin. Oh, la, 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 la. And so I've never used the fault, so I thought, oh, it's probably crap. But when I picked up the Fold 6, yeah, they pushed out the bezels to as much as they can to make it as wide as possible, okay? But it's still much thinner than the average Joe Blow phone, which is absolutely perfect in my books. I don't know what you guys are crying about. Samsung, if you're watching this, keep it as it is, please. If anything, make the bezels even smaller to get more screen on the front, but don't change the hardware. It's perfect. If you want a big ass slab phone, buy a big ass slab phone. So having a thin outer screen and a big ass inside screen is literally the best of both worlds. You can use it with one hand and if you need more space to write a script, bam. Need to write an email, bam. Need to flex and pick up a chick, bam. <laughs> wow. Wanna draw a doodle, bam. I think the smaller candy bar screen on the outside I think that is what sets the Samsung Fold apart from all the other foldables. So, 
stay like that, please. I'm just worried because Samsung does listen to its customers and if a lot of the customers are complaining, then they will change it. And so I'm just worried, but it's been six generations and they've made incremental improvements. But I'm glad that this year, at least, the year that I'm gonna use my first fold, they have kept it narrow. Thank you. So I've got a question for you. Mm. Would you give the Fold 6 a shot as your main phone? Oh yeah, I will. You will? I will. 